question was asked, the answer was this. A man once traveled from Judea to Jerusalem. He was stopped by some men with stealing for an emblem. Beaten and robbed, they took all he had, his money, his clothes. The traveler had it bad. They left him by the road with half of his life. At least he wasn't killed, just branded with knife. The priest walked by, for sure he would assist. He looked on, walked by, crossed over the man he missed. On purpose, of course, for the man he did see. But rather than help, he let the stranger be. When the lawmaker saw him, he had rules for this, I'm sure. He would stop, he would help, he would give the traveler a cure. But onwards he walked, to the other side he did look. As the traveler realized, life just dealt him a left hook. But then came a stranger, a Samaritan, a wrong clan, an outcast, a reject, someone the traveler would ban. He stopped and surprised, he helped the traveler in need. Creed, religion, bad experience would not stop his good deed. With oil and wine, some kind words and affection, he cleaned up the knife brands, the wounds and his affliction. He set the traveler on his donkey and took him to a lodge with silver he paid for room and some food and promised to return to pay more if need be if silver the innkeeper requested a need. This story was the answer to a question and the question was, who is my neighbor? In a time where our religious leaders and lawmakers are all at the blunder we should be the help and change we want to see and be bolder. For if we only help because we worship the same God, or only help people when we believe we get an applaud, then we are no different from the religious leaders and the lawmakers who see evil and walk on, keep their mouths shut and beat later. For he who in his darkest hour can love without desire shall be granted the greatest power. Love. Love thy neighbor.